Charles Henderson is global head of IBM Security's X Force Red. Their job is to stay ahead of cyber criminals. Charles, it sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. You know, we really do. It is a great job, though. We get to go against technology, make technology break, and solve those problems before criminals have a chance to exploit them. We saw just a couple examples of the damage that hackers can do. But when you're looking at the big picture, what's the overall overarching worry for the companies if they can break into these embedded devices? It isn't so much will you have flaws, but how will you handle those flaws when they become apparent? How will you fix them? How will you get the fixes out to your customers? How will you make sure that devices out in the field, whether they're in the home, they're in the office, or somewhere in between, are secure? But what, what's behind the motivation? I mean, are, are hackers potentially doing this just for pure sabotage reasons, or are they holding the companies hostage, hoping for a ransom in order to reverse those hacks? In most cases, it's monetization. Uh, you know, Criminals like money. And you know, when, when you can compromise a device, when you can compromise a, a system, it may lead to a, 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 an investment that you can get a return on, you can, you can monetize. Um, that could be uh, compromising credentials, that could be compromising financial data, um, or it could be something that that device is connected to. If you think about what we've done, we've invited the internet into our homes, into our offices, everywhere in between. They call, and it turns out the internet is a crappy house guest. And they call that the internet of things when you have your thermostat and your lights and your stereo and your heating all hooked up to the internet. So how do you protect, protect today's smart buildings, smart homes from this type of hacking? Well, first of all, you test those things before you deploy them in a building, in a home, et cetera. Uh, most consumers can't do that kind of testing, but rely on known brands that, that, that will have done that kind of testing on their own. Um, and, and, the, and the second thing is, make a risk judgment. I mean, do you really need to see what's going on inside your fridge from across town? These, these are legitimate questions you need to ask, because everything you, you do with Internet of Things, with these embedded devices, brings about risk. So it's a risk-reward uh, ratio. What do we as consumers do proactively to keep those things that are internet con connected safe, to keep our personal data that might go into that safe? Well, you know, it's, it's important, first of all, to use devices that are current, that are supported. If you think about these security vulnerabilities, they're, they're quality defects. In the same way that your fridge ice maker might stop working after six months, your, your fridge may actually have a vulnerability six months in. You want a company that will take care of that ice maker, that will replace that ice maker under warranty, and will have a good repair record, because chances are, if they can replace the ice maker, they can come up with a security patch and fix to deploy to your fridge. I, I know I'm gonna ask you this as a big picture question, and, and your focus on individual companies, but do you think companies are doing enough to protect themselves and their customers from this kind of intrusion? I, th I think most are, but you, you see companies doing more and more every day. We're getting better as a, a general society at security testing. We've removed the stigma of these vulnerabilities. It's not so much that a, a, a failure in security is a chance to improve when you find these vulnerabilities. Um, a failure in security is a compromise, not a vulnerability.